Yo, what's up, people? What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? It's your boy Tiario, and I'm back, y'all, with another video and also another eye opening message and topic in my season video series. And in this video and in this message, I'm going to be talking about how people hate what they can't control. Yes, people hate what they can't control. I'm going to say it again. People hate what they can't control. Okay? And these are facts, people. These are facts. People hate what they can't control. To whereas, nine times out of ten, most of the time, when y'all see people getting angry or being angry, Nine times out of ten, the only reason why those people are being angry and upset is because they can't control something that's in their lives. You know what I'm saying? They can't control something that's in their lives. So, as you all see on the screen, I have a list. And let me dissect this list and let me break this stuff down to you, okay? Okay. Okay, just a quick list. I got five things on this list that I want to dissect and talk about. Okay, so here we go. Let's get to it. People hate what they can't control. Number one. Here we go. Number one. A husband will hate his wife for this very reason. Because he can't control her. Most husbands who hate their wives... They only hate their wives, y'all, is because you can't control the wife. And since you can't control the wife, you hate her. Since you can't control the wife, you're beating on her. Since you can't control the wife, you're, you're cheating on her and you're dogging her out and you're doing her dirty. Most husbands, y'all, you got to understand this about certain people. Most people, most husbands, they only want to marry women they can control off the record off the record the average man he wants a woman he can control i'm gonna I'm be real with y'all okay i'm gonna be real with y'all and i'm gonna be honest with y'all the average man the average husband he wants a wife he can control and when he finds out and he comes to the realization of the fact that he can't control his wife he is going to hate her guts because people hate what they can't control. Okay? Yes, people. They hate what they can't control. These are facts. Okay? People hate what they can't control. So, the average husband, just like I said, once he finds out that he can't control his wife, man, look, I'm going to tell you, he going to do her dirty. He is going to do her dirty because the average man, y'all, he don't want a woman who have her own mind. He wants a wife he can control. And then it works the same with women. It works the exact same with women. Most women, they want to control their men. Most women, they want to control their relationship. They want to control their marriage. You have a lot of women out there who are control freaks. And this is the reason why a lot of women hate successful brothers. You want to know why certain women hate successful brothers? Because you can't control him. You want to know why certain women hate men who have their own mind? And y'all, I'm going to keep it real with y'all. The average woman, and especially black woman, the average black woman, she does not, she don't want a man with a lot of knowledge at all. She don't want a man who's very smart. She don't want a man who's very intelligent. She don't want a man who have a lot of wisdom and knowledge because you can't control a man who have a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So this is why y'all see women and getting with these sorry guys. The reason why most women get with sorry men, because they can control the sorry man. That's how this works, people. Okay? I know y'all be looking at it like, man, how come she getting with a dude like him? Because she can control him. Okay? She can control him. The reason why she is with that slow dude, that dude's slow. 
That dude don't even know who he is in God. That dude don't even have God. That dude don't even have a relationship with God. That dude don't even want God. He smoke and he drink. The reason why she's getting with him because she can control him. She can control him mentally and emotionally. Okay? In the moment, in the moment the wife starts to find out she can't control her husband, she will hate her husband. Off the record. Off the record. The moment she finds out that she cannot control her husband, she is going to hate him. And then and then we get to boyfriends and girlfriends. Yeah. You got boyfriends who love controlling their girlfriends and you have girlfriends who love controlling their boyfriends and then once they find out they can't control them no more they're going to hate them they're going to hate them because people hate what they can't control people hate what they can't control off the record now let me move to number two let, let's get to number two we're dealing with family we're dealing with family now family let me, let me tell you something about family. Family love controlling other family members. Family love controlling other family members. There is that one special person in everyone's family that the family wants to control. Oh, yes. There is that one person in, in every... Look, look, check this out. In every family, in every family, you're going to have that one person that the family wants to control. They are going to want to control your life. They're going to tell you what to do. They're going to tell you who to marry. They're going to tell you you need to be married. They're going to tell you you should do this and you should do that. And you should go to school here. And you should work here. They're controlling you. They're controlling your mind. They're controlling your actions. They're going to tell you you need to go to church. They're going to tell you you need to do this. And you need to do that. And you need to do this. And you need to do that. Your family is controlling you. They're controlling your every move. They're controlling all your choices. Your family is controlling you. Okay? Every family have that one specific person picked out who they want to control. Off the record. You better take it seriously because this is real. I'm going to say it again. Every family have that one specific person in the family that they will try to control. And you better fight back. You better fight back. You better not let them control you. And guess what? When you start fighting back and, and, and they realize they can't control you no more, they're going to hate you. They're going to hate you. And the only reason why your family hates you is because they can't control you. Let's be realistic here, okay? Let's be realistic. The only reason why your family hates you is because they can't control you. Yes. Yes. I see a lot of people, y'all, who are controlled by family. I see it all the time. I see it every day. OK, a lot of people are really controlled by their families. Their families got them straight brainwashed for real. Their mama controlling them, the daddy controlling them, the uncle controlling them. Yes. In a moment, your family realizes that they can't control you. Your family is going to hate you because people hate what they can't control. These are facts, people. OK, <laughs> This is facts. This is common sense facts. But since but but, but since a lot of y'all want uh, and I'm going to say it, since a lot of y'all want to live in a bubble, I'm about to bust your bubble. Okay? This video is busting your bubble. People hate what they can't control. You can't tell me I'm crazy. I know this stuff like the back of my hand, okay? People hate what they can't control. And one thing about family, they will always pick that one specific person out the family who they can control. And it's your job to not let them control you. It's your job to not let your family control you. People hate what they can't control, people. Number three, friends. Let's deal with friends. When friends can't control you, you already know what's going to happen. They're going to try to dog you out. They're going to turn on you. They're not going to want to be your friend no more. The only reason why they don't want to be friends with you anymore because they can't control you. You have your own mind. 
Friends love hanging around other friends they can control. Girls love hanging around other girls they can control. Guys love hanging around other guys they can control. If they can get you to drink with them, if they can get you to smoke with them, if they can get you to party with them all the time and hang out, they're controlling you. They're controlling you. Off the record. And friends love hanging with other friends they can control. Off the record, people. These are facts. These are facts. And a lot of you all, I'm going to say it. The reason why a lot of you all have a lot of friends. See, some of you all have all kind of friends. You want to know why you have all kind of friends? Because they can control you. Your friends controlling you. That's why. You don't have your own mind. If your girl calls you and tells you she wanna, uh, she on her way to come pick you up, y'all going to hang out, you're going to go. She's controlling you. Okay? That's off the record. She's controlling you. Some people, y'all, they have dozens of friends because their friends are controlling them. Your friends are control freaks. Your friends are control freaks. I know this stuff too well. You don't think I grew up hanging around friends who tried to control Tiario? Oh yeah, people tried this on me. People tried this on me. Family tried it on me and friends. I, look, look, check this out. I've even met women who tried to control me. You don't think I experienced this already? You don't think I went through this already? The reason why people hate Tiario is because they can't control me. That's the only reason why people hate me. Because you can't control Tiario. It's not going to happen. Off the record. I'm telling you what I know. And when your friends come to a realization. That they can't control you. They're going to hate you. Because people hate what they can't control. Okay. Move, let's, 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 let's go to number four. People hate speakers. They can't control. I'm one of them. Y'all know me. I speak the truth about all kinds of topics, bro. I can talk about anything. Okay? And just like I said, the number one reason people hate me is because they can't control me. Why? Because people hate speakers they can't control. Okay? They hated Malcolm X. Really, they killed Malcolm X. They killed Malcolm X because you couldn't control Malcolm X. They killed Dr. King because they couldn't control Dr. King. They killed Tupac Shakur because they couldn't control Tupac Shakur. Off the record. Off the record, people. This is serious, okay? People even hate speakers they can't control. Yes. I experienced this for myself. The, the, the number one reason why so many people just hate Tiario and they're jealous of Tiario because you can't control Tiario. You can't control me. You can't control me. You don't know what I'm going to talk about next. You can't control me. You can't put me in a box. You can't control me. You can't stop me from representing Jesus. You can't stop me from toting my guns. You can't stop me from walking in self-defense. You can't stop me from doing what I want to do. You can't control me. So since you can't control me, you're going to hate me. I understand how this works, people. I understand how this works. You don't think I've met people who tried to control me? I've met women who tried to control me. I've had friends who tried to control me when I was a kid. Okay? And I've had people in my family who tried to control me. This happened to me already, people. I know this stuff too well. People hate what they can't control. Off the record. And since people can't control Tiario, they're going to hate me. And since they can't control you, they're going to hate you. Let's move to the last one on this list, which is number five. Religious people. Uh-oh. Religion. Let's deal with religion. When you were in religion, let me tell you something about these false religions. Christianity, Nation of Islam, the Hebrew Israelite cult. These are all false cults that will try to control you automatically. Christianity will try to control you. The Nation of Islam will try to control you. And the Hebrew Israelite cult will try to control you. These are false cults, man. Okay? The moment if you join any church, you're going to be controlled. 
People are not free in church. People are not free in church. You can't tell me people are free in church. Church is constructed with nothing but man-made rules. How are you free in a building that's filled with man-made rules? You're not free in there. You have to go in there, sit down, and shut up and hear watered-down sermons. You're controlled. The whole concept of religion is to control you. This is why they created Christianity. This is why they created the nation of Islam. And this is why they created the Hebrew Israelite cult. Okay? All of these false religions are designed to control you. You can't tell me I'm lying. The religion of Christianity is centered around control. Mind control. Control your life. Control your beliefs in God. Okay? The nation of Islam is centered around mind control, control your life and control your beliefs with the black man against the white man. That's the nation of Islam. Mind control. The Hebrew Israelite cult is centered around mind control. You're a Hebrew. You come from this tribe and that tribe and all this foolishness. It's mind control. And this is why these false religions are being built for mind control. That's right. You got to do this. You got to do that. Look, look, look. You got to be a Christian to go to heaven. That's mind control. Why you have to be a Christian to go to heaven? That don't even make sense. Okay? It's mind control. The nation of Islam. Oh, you have to be a Muslim and da 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 and all this stuff. Mind control. The Hebrew Israelite cult. Mind control. These dudes believe that you have to wear a beard to be righteous by God. Are you crazy? Are you smoking drugs? Are you smoking crack? The Hebrew Israelite cult believe that you got to have a beard. You got to have a beard, bro, to be con to, to, to have a relationship with God. They believe this. This is mind control. This don't make any sense. And that's what these false religions are all about. Mind control. And they will try to control you. If you join Christianity... You're going to have other Christians trying to control you. If you join the nation of Islam, you're going to have other Muslims trying to control you. If you join the Hebrew Israelite cult, you're going to have other Hebrews trying to control you. And once they all find out they can't control you, they are going to hate you because people hate what they can't control. So with all that being said, y'all, this is your boy Tiario and I'm out in my season video series, man. Much love and much respect to you people and may you people be richly blessed in the Lord, man. Peace.